plosives are consonant sounds that let out a little burst of air. I like to think about explosives, explosives. The plosive sounds in American English are p, b, t, d, k, and g. P and b are both bilabial, which means two lips. You bring your two lips together, p, b, p, b, and let air out between them. The difference is that b is voiced and p is voiceless. This means that with b, 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 I use my voice box. If I hold my throat here, b, 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 I can feel it vibrating when I say the b, b, b sound. With p, 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 there is no vibration here. You'll notice that it's hard for me to say b, b without adding a little uh sound while I can p, p all day long. That's another way of telling whether or not you're using a voiced or voiceless sound. It's very difficult to say a voiced sound without b, b, some sort of vowel afterwards. You can also use uh, toilet paper or tissue paper to test when we say a voiced b, 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 b. It moves a little, but when we use the voiceless p, p, it'll go flying. Practice these two sounds with me by reading this sentence. Pete's pet pig is big, but it's a big pig not a big bug. Very good. T and D are alveolar, which means we put the tip of our tongue at the roof of our mouth behind our teeth, uh -huh. on this little area called the alveolar ridge. Uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. You can see my tongue are behind my top teeth and are touching the roof of my mouth. With these two, d, d is voiced and t, t is voiceless. We can see d, d, t, t, d, d, t, t. Not nearly as much action as with our p, but you can still tell that the voiceless will move the toilet paper more than the d, d. And I have a hard time saying d without that uh vowel sound afterwards. Practice the t and d sounds with me by reading this sentence. Tim told Dan to tan. Dan tanned till Tim did tricks and drove to the trove. One more time. Tim told Dan to tan. Dan tanned till Tim did tricks and drove to the trove. K and G are velar, which means we place the back of our tongue in between our hard and soft palate. Your hard palate is the front of your gums. Uh, uh, uh. You can feel it's hard, and the soft palate is the soft part in the back which I will not poke because it will make me gag. But you want to place the back of your tongue between those two points on the roof of your mouth. And you will get the k, 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 d, d, d sounds. Here we have the voiced g, 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 g. I can feel a vibration and the voiceless k, 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 k. no vibration and of course the toilet paper moves a little bit more there. When I make these sounds my tongue curls and the front of my tongue lands behind my bottom teeth. Practice k and g with me by reading this sentence. Could you give Ken his gun again? 
give the kid his kit and kindly get going. One more time. Could you give Ken his gun again? Give the kid his kit and kindly get going. And those are all of the plosive consonants in American English. This pronunciation video was made in cooperation with Truvec. To learn more about Truvec, go ahead and click the link I left for you in the description.